Greetings gamers, I'm your Cyber Games Mentor, reviewing various games that are available on your Android or other mobile device. We'll be looking at action games, strategy games, and everything in between. So sit back and relax and enjoy the review. Today we're playing on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Plus. Now this tablet has a 12.4 inch Quad HD screen. The processor is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 with 8 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage. The battery is a 10,900 milliamp hour battery and it was released in 2022. Greetings gamers, today we're looking at Fallout Shelter. Fallout Shelter is Bethesda, from Bethesda Softworks and it's rated T for Teen. Now in this game, it's Fallout Shelter is part of the Fallout franchise. Now if you're not familiar with Fallout, the first Fallout game uh, released in 1997, so this series has, has been a long, around for a long time. And in these games, typically, you play in a, a protagonist in a post-apocalyptic type of role-playing game where you traverse the wasteland <laughs> that has been destroyed by nuclear war in an Afropunk, uh, retro-futuristic kind of uh, 50s retro type world with... Um, you know, mutated monsters, roving gangs of bandits, uh, sometimes even aliens and robots and people with bad intentions all around. It's um, and it's it's fairly fun if you if you're a fan of you know post-apocalyptic landscapes and stories. You're probably familiar with the Fallout games. Uh, and there are a bunch of them that are available out there for you today. Uh, and some of that is necessary to understand what Fallout is, but the game walks you through it, so you'll catch on pretty quickly. Now, in Fallout Shelter, Fallout Shelter is a free-to-play, like, management simulation construction type game where you're managing resources necessary for your vault to survive. Now a vault is a specially constructed um, shelter to ride out the apocalypse, basically. Uh, shelter from the outside where people can live and get food, water, shelter, that type of thing, and live uh, without the ravages of the world around them. Uh, the company Vault Tech has created these, and you run one as an overseer. <clears throat> now you're going to build and manage the vault as you see fit as the overseer. Now you're the leader, the coordinator, the head honcho, the big cheese. You're the person in charge of taking care of all these vault dwellers, all the people that live in the vault, uh, managing their resources, their food, their water, their air, their all of that, all of those things uh, necessary for life in this terrible, terrible future. Now, the most important resources are going to be food, water, and power, and you have to manage these along with managing your population. You get to send uh, characters out into the world to gain more resources and items so you can build other items that you need, like weapons or suits of armor, that type of thing. Uh, and the characters can, uh, there's light RPG elements, the characters can level up, up to about level, I think, 50. And get stronger and have better health and that kind of thing, so they can go out in the world for longer distances. And honestly, this is clearly a casual game unless you're paying a lot of money to play, because it has microtransactions. That's not... People want to criticize microtransactions, and I understand that's a valid criticism, 
I think when the game cost money initially, if you pay 50, 60, 70 dollars on a video game, it should come mostly, mostly complete. 99% complete when you buy that game. That's a lot of money to invest to continue to pay. Fallout Shelter is a free game and you can buy other resources, you can buy uh, opportunities, you can buy certain items that work in the game. But you can play this game totally fine without spending a single dime. And I think that's important because you can't do that with every game. A lot of games, well I say a lot, there are games that are pay to win. Fallout Shelter is not a pay to win type game. And I, I love it for that. I genuinely love it for that. Now, I want to talk about the graphics of Fallout Shelter. Now, <laughs> it has simple little sprites that are happy-go-lucky. Uh, if they're happy, you know, they get sad. They look sad. But uh, it has this, these vibrant colors and these simple little sprites with these big emotions. And these monsters, and these aliens, and robots, and rad roaches, and those type things. Everything that you've seen in a Fallout game, you're going to see in Fallout Shelter. It's just going to be a little stylized, true, but it's going to be instantly recognizable, and I think that adds to the fun of the game. But like I said, the graphics are simple. They get the job done. You're not going to... It's not a game where... Uh, it's going to tax the hardware that you're using. I'm using a tablet, my uh, Tab S22, uh, S, I'm sorry, my Tab S8 Plus. It's not the latest uh, Samsung tablet. It's the previous year, but still works great. It uh, runs this game well. And I think it's going to run well on any mobile device you have, whether it's iOS, because uh, Fallout Shelter is also available for Windows, it's available for Xbox, Switch. It's available for a wide variety of platforms, and the experience is going to be mostly the same on all of them. Uh, but I like the graphics. They're not like mind blowing or anything, but they fit. A lot of times, if the graphics just fit the game and fit the gameplay, and this type of strategy game that does not require the fastest graphics or 60 frames per second or anything like that these work great I like it very much the sound uh, the, the thing that got me is when there's an alarm alerting you to danger like there's an attack from bandits or attack from monsters on your vault the alarm is alarming <laughs> um, you get these random random events of attacks on your vault and as I was playing with my headphones or my earbuds, <laughs> it was startling. Uh, so beware of that. Watch out for that. Um, but the the sound is good. It matches the game. It's not. It's not just this beautiful orchestra or a beat that's gonna really stick with you forever. It's not like that. It just fits. A simple game. It fits a simple game and it works. It fits well. Um, as far as you know what what do I think about this game? It's it's a game you can play as long as you want, doing little missions, completing little tasks. It's like looking at an ant farm, or it's like playing a, a cut down version of the Sims or uh, Sim City, if you remember those old games. It's like watching a fishbowl and you can actually change things in that fishbowl to get better results. And that's the fun of the game, just managing, you know, your little fishbowl of characters. Now, after you get about 20, 20 inhabitants within your vault, I think it becomes, the, the difficulty ramps up a little bit trying to keep all these little people alive. But it's, it's a fun game. It's a fun game. 
I'm going to give it an 8.1. Though the graphics, you know, they aren't mind-blowing or anything. The sound's not mind-blowing or anything, but the game just fits so well. It's so casual. It's so cozy. It's so nice. I'm going to give Fallout Shelter an 8.1. What other, if you'll do me a favor, in the comments down below, if you'll tell me another type game where you do construction and play management in a simulation that are out there that's your favorite that maybe I need to check out. Alright? Thank you, gaming hobbyist and enthusiast, for watching this review. Please follow us on social media so you can see when we have reviews available. And also, if you'll be so kind as to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel, the Cyber Games Mentor thanks you and appreciates you, and I hope you have a gamerific day.